Hey, hi guys. In this session, we will see how to select radio button and how to select checkbox. If you have multiple checkboxes, then how to select all of them. And last one, we will see how to turn on and off slider button. So this is the practice link which you also can use. Here we have radio button, male and female radio button, and we have checkboxes. So either we can click in one check checkbox or you can select multiple checkboxes right but in radio button either you can select male or you can select female means both you cannot select at the same time at a time only one radio button you can select but checkbox you can select multiple right so we will see this and uh, the last one we have this one this is the slider button so once you will click on it it will turn on see it is getting turned on right so how to use these action by using selenium so let's create a script and see how we can use in selenium web driver so let me create one class class i am creating for radio and checkbox in this class i will show you how to select radio button as well as i will show you how to select checkbox Now simply we can create main method, we can launch Chrome browser, we can import, after that we can maximize and then we can use implicit wait, 10 second I will wait. Now we can launch the application driver.get an application link we can pass here. This is the application link which we are going to use. First of all, we will see this radio button, how we can select the radio button, right? So if you want to select radio button for mail, then we can inspect this radio button, whichever you want to select, right? So see. For male and female, for both of them, type is same, right? Radio type, name is also same, gender. So we need to find out the unique web element. ID is different, right? ID is unique and value is unique. So either you can use value or you can use ID. So since ID is available, I will use ID here. Driver dot find element by dot ID is available. So we can use ID. I'll put the ID here and then we can use click method. Clicking on any of the radio button, we can use the click method. Let's execute it and see whether it is clicking on that radio button or not. See, it has clicked, right? So after clicking on this mail, if you want to click on female, then you can click on female as well. We can, here we can write female. But either you can click on male or you can click on female. If you want to click on female now, then I will comment this one and let's run it again. This time female should be clicked. See, now female is clicked, right? So this is how you can click on radio button by using click method. Here we have seen a radio button. A radio button now we are going to see how to select checkbox so how to select checkbox same here we have checkbox if you want to select this checkbox for automation testing then we can inspect this checkbox and here we have checkbox available and this checkbox is common for both the checkboxes and automation class is different, right? Class and value is different. So either you can use class or you can use value. So let's use this value and we can write the X path here. Tag name is input and then we can use attribute and we can put the attribute value that is automation. See, so it is finding unique value. We can write here driver dot find element by dot x path 
we can write the x path here we can use dot click see so for clicking on the checkbox for selecting the checkbox again we are using click method for radio button and for checkbox for both of them we are using click method only right because we are clicking right anyhow we are clicking on this radio button and as well as we are clicking on this checkboxes as well so wherever we are clicking we can use click method let's run it and see if it is checking the checkbox see radio button is already selected and it has checked this automation testing as well right if you have multiple checkboxes and you need to select all of them then we can use either for loop or you can use for each loop right i will show you both of them so as of now we have checked only one checkbox right if you have multiple checkboxes and you and you need to check all the checkboxes then you can use either for loop or you can use for each loop but for selecting all the checkboxes you need one common web element right so let's see the common web element if common web element is available then we can check all the checkboxes see type is common for both the checkboxes see for this automation testing checkbox we have type checkbox and for performance testing again we have type checkbox right so this type is common for both both the checkboxes right so we will have to write x path here tag name is input we will write input at the rate we will take attribute type is equal to we will pass value that is checkbox right so this checkbox is common for both the checkbox you can see right and here you can see one of two so there are two checkboxes this x path is correct for those two checkboxes so we can comment this line now we can write the x path driver dot find elements we will take now we are going to use find elements why we are going to use find elements because here we are going to select multiple checkboxes right so if you are going to select multiple checkboxes right if you are going to perform multiple action in that case we will have to use find elements right and here we will write by dot x path and we will pass here x path now we can store in one reference variable so reference variable i will write here checkboxes and what is the return type of find elements list of web element it will be list of web element and if if you don't know what is the return type then you can click on it you can hover over on this find elements and you can see list of web element right so you can copy and paste it from here as well right now we need to import so list belongs to java.util package and now we can import this web element as well now if we want to see how many checkboxes are there then we can print how we can print system dot out dot print ln and here we can put some message total total checkboxes and here we can dot size so it will print all the checkboxes number of checkboxes it will print right now as we know there are total two checkboxes so we can use for loop here we can write int i is equal to 0 i is less than 2 i plus plus now we can use this checkboxes reference variable dot get 
here we can pass the index value that is i and then dot we can use click method so again we are going to use click method only to clicking on all the checkboxes now we can execute this program and see it should check all the checkboxes means both the checkboxes see it has selected both the checkboxes right so it doesn't matter how many number of checkboxes available it will select all of them because we are using find elements and we are storing in list of web element right and here we are using for loop to iterate all the checkboxes so it doesn't matter how many checkbox are there it will select to all of them right and this we have selected by using for loop now we can use for each loop so see how to use for each loop again we can copy this reference variable and we can store in one reference variable i will use here checkbox and return type will be web element here return type we are using web element because it will iterate single single web element and it will click on the single single web element right so as we are going to iterate single web element it means a return type will be web element now what we can use simply we can copy this checkbox this is a reference variable we can copy this checkbox reference variable and we can use directly click method so it is quite simple so by using this for each loop we can again rerun see it has clicked both the check boxes and radio button right whatever you feel easy you can use either you can use for loop or you can use for each loop right right and you can see total number of check boxes spelling is wrong where yes check boxes so you can print the check boxes total number of check boxes so it is returning two there are total two check box right and to iterate all the check boxes either you can use for loop or you can use for each loop right so we have seen how to click on radio button and how to how to click on check box right now i will create one more class and i will show you how to click on slider button slider button i will copy the common code from here now we can use here driver dot get and we can pass the application url here application is this so again how to click on this slider button so for clicking on this slider button again we will have to inspect and find out the web element see so class is available type is available that is check box right so either you can use class or you can use this type check box right so we can use a type we can use a type check box so we can write the x path here tag name is input we can write input at the rate type is equal to check box see this is the correct x path we can copy it from here and we can write here driver dot find element by dot x path and we can paste the x path here and again on clicking on slider button again we are going to use click method because we are clicking on it right 
while clicking on it it will turn on and again while clicking on it it will turn off right so we need to use only click method so let's run it and see the output see it has clicked on it right for performing all three action we are using only click method for radio button for selecting radio button for checkbox for slider turn on turn on and off we are using only click method so it's it's quite simple i hope you understood thanks for watching this video